Hey guys, welcome back to Home Uncensored. I am Maddie, and today I want to share with you guys four things that people don't really think about when they're trying to lose weight. Now, one of the items is a little bit more adult in nature, so for my younger viewers, please just be aware of this. It's nothing too bad, but I just want you to be aware of this. If you find any of the tips or tricks that I give today interesting or funny, or if you have any that you would like to share yourself, please put that in the comment section below, and we are going to get started. Girls, it's that time of month that we all dread the bloating, the cramping, the consistent craving for foods that we would never eat otherwise. Ugh, periods. They're horrible. But they can also be a great help when it comes to weight loss. This is because of hormones progesterone and estrogen. With these two hormones together, they are heightened from the time we start ovulation to two days before our menstrual cycle starts. So in that time frame, your body will actually attack fat sources more for energy than carbohydrates because fat's a more slow burning source of energy for our body. In doing so, you can burn up to about 30% more fat during this time frame than when you're not in this time frame. And also working out on your period, I know I hate it too. I loathe the gym when I'm on my period, but it actually helps with cramps, subsiding some of the pains and discomfort that you're feeling because you're getting your muscles to contract in a separate way that takes away the pain from there. Now for the second tip is actually calcium and vitamin D. We've been told our entire lives, drink milk. If you're a 90s kid or even know a lot of advertising, the ads got milk, they're back. They are always trying to consistently get young people and basically everybody to drink milk to get your source of calcium and vitamin D. And there's many reasons for this. It can prevent osteoporosis, it can just help preserve you as a person, but what's great about calcium and vitamin D combined is it actually preserves your muscle tissue as well. And the reason this is important for weight loss is because a pound of muscle burns nine times more calories in the same sitting than a pound of fat. So in the long run, the more muscle you have, the more you're actually going to burn because you need that extra calories, like burned energy to be able to move your muscles and go places and do things. So having help preserving that muscle, especially if like you're having like a sluggish week or whatever, it is great and I need to start doing it more myself. Now, this one is pretty simple. Why sit when you can stand? That's basically it right there. If you have the opportunity to stand instead of sit, I'm recommending that you do because when you're sitting, after four hours, your metabolic rate basically shuts off. So you're burning no calories. And especially if like, you have a desk job, you're in school, you're doing something that like you are at a computer, get up every two hours and just take like, a lap around or something. Or Like for me, like I do my homework on my bed here because it's so high. I'll stand and have like all my books spread out on my bed because it does help. Yeah, it's very, very minimal. It just helps your overall health. Everyone also says that drink water, drink water, drink as much water as you can. And yes, you need to drink water. You need to, you need your eight glasses a day. It needs to happen. But did you know that the temperature of your water actually affects how our bodies react to it? Hot water makes you feel full. Room temperature water is the best for hydrating you, but for our weight loss theme we've got going on here, we are going to talk about ice cold water. Now, the reason ice cold water will help you lose weight as where the other just kind of like hydrate you or make you feel full is because your body actually has to warm the water up before it can absorb it and use it to hydrate you. So that causes your metabolic rate to kick up because your body is warming something. It's trying to get that water temperature up to room temperature or body temperature so it can absorb it. And in doing so, it actually helps people lose about five pounds in a year just from drinking ice water. Like no other exercise, five pounds in a year from drinking ice water. 
And what's also pretty decent about water is that if you drink 17 ounces of water within, I think it's an hour to two hour time frame, your metabolic rate will kick up to anywhere between 10 and 30%. So the more water you drink, the more your metabolism kicks up. So it's actually really, really good to drink water consistently throughout your day. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you found anything interesting, please let me know in the comment section below. If you have anything you want to share, let me know. Um, I did do a lot of research for this video. Um, so I will have the links and the studies that all these facts came from down in the description below for you to also take a look at and read through and get more information on if you want. I basically just gave the gist of everything. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!